he was terrified of people and sounds and movement. Everything was scary to Wally. And he's been feral and living on his own for months and months. He was small when he left his family and then grew and his collar stayed small and became way too tight. His health and his life was at risk. A team of volunteers went out there and set up trap. We were finally able to catch him. Incredible to see this boy come into the shelter. Everything was new to him and scary. Our wonderful clinic at the shelter immediately took great care of him. He did very well in surgery, started healing. He was still very terrified. He curled up in a ball in the corner of his room and wouldn't make eye contact and wouldn't let anyone touch him. We knew that we needed to get him out of the shelter and we knew that it was gonna take a really special family. When Kat and Jared and Molly came into the shelter, we had a really good feeling. We just knew they were the right family. So they left the shelter that day with Wally and his life is forever changed. We brought him home with us and from there, it was a lot of patience to get him comfortable. Can you pitch your hand? First morning we came down and he was so terrified that he had peed in his crate. We had to pick him up to take him outside to use the restroom. So we had to keep him in a harness or a leash because he was potentially a big flight risk. We weren't sure if he would try and dart at any moment. So we pick him up in his harness, take him outside and just be really patient with him. Maybe use the restroom, but honestly, he would just walk as far away from us as he could be and he would just lay on the ground and shake. Baby. I just had this feeling that maybe because of the collar incident that he was feeling constricted. After two weeks, I took him out of his harness and I just said, all right, the yard is yours, buddy. Go for it. Your world, buddy. And then from there, he just started to blossom slowly. Molly is a dominant dog, but it was kind of like she knew he needed a little bit of help. Really, the way that he got really comfortable with us and knew that he could trust us is just through watching Molly. I mean, am I the luckiest girl in the whole world? Then the first time we took him on a walk, he just followed her around like it was no big thing. He watched her every move. She's really the only reason that he knew Good. that he could relax and be comfortable. We got him some toys, and that's when his personality really started to come out. I had given him a toy, and I looked down, and he had run down our stairs into the yard and was throwing the toy in the air and doing loops. And so you were starting to really see his personality come out, which was Honestly, so rewarding and so amazing. <laughs> he does this thing now where when he gets really excited about something, he has these windmill arms. When he gets excited, it's like he doesn't know what to do and he just flails his arms in the air and it's like the cutest thing. He's turned into this really fun and spunky and just cuddly dog. Two and a half months in, I had looked at my husband and I said, I don't think we'll get any better in this. He's just totally become part of our family. And then the next night we had met for dinner. He handed me the glass of wine and in his hand was a dog tag that said Wally Grayson on it. He's just totally become part of our family and it's honestly so rewarding and so amazing. I'm
go on a walk? You do. You want to go on a walk? Wow. He's my big booey. <laughs>